2020 single family homes are up, condos are down, and COVID-19 is still all around. What does that mean for you? Let's get into them here in this month's Wahoo Market Update. Hi there, it's Hal Wilkerson here with Hawaii Property Advisors. Today is one of my favorite days of the month because we get to dive into the data of last month's real estate transactions and really pull some nice little nuggets of data to give you, dear viewer, a good idea of what is going on here in the real estate market on our beautiful island of Oahu. Let's jump right in. On a backdrop of COVID-19, there were, and still are, I think, quite a few variables at play here leading into some really strong numbers. Right out of the gate, we've got one of the highest median sale prices ever seen for single family homes coming in at $869,000. That's an 11% increase from the same period of 2019. Ah, uh, 2019. How we miss you, 2019. Excuse me. Back to the analysis. In other words, in the last year, if you'd bought that same house in the fall of 2019 when pumpkin spice lattes weren't a face mask scent, you would have seen about a $95,000 increase in your equity year over year. That's incredible, folks. Now, Hawaii doesn't have a lotto just yet, but if it did, you just won at least a pick three. Well, in September 2020, the number that really stuck out to me was the pure increase in transactions. We had a 12.7% increase in volume of transactions, which was huge. This month, transactions have leveled out on Oahu, but we're continuing to see a shrinking of days on market. We went from 24 days in October of 2019 all the way down to 11 days last month. Now, I'm not gonna kid you folks, 54% reduction in days on market is massive. Basically, homes are selling in half the time that they sold in 2019 at this point. What does that mean? Well, two things, dear viewers. Number one, there's still a lot of pent up demand, which means this firestorm of real estate is probably going to last a few more months. And number two, we're going to continue to see some positive pressure in year over year values. And the key metric for that particular number is none other than the closed over asking price, meaning that we are seeing little bidding wars on these houses. This month in the single family market, 42%. So what does that mean? Nearly half of all homes are getting more than they listed their home for. A lot of variables could go into that. Pricing strategies, locations, demand, key amenities, etc. But big picture, the demand is just hot, hot, hot. Now, we all know having spent the better part of eight months or so here, social distancing, working from home, Zooming our co-workers, growing our beards, getting Zoom bombed by your co-worker's cat. People are looking for more space. It's as simple as that. Now you add in a couple more variables, like record low interest rate, decreased inventory due to demand. It created what I would consider to be the perfect storm here in October for single family homes. Is that gonna continue? We'll have to see. Personally, I feel like we will start to see a little bit of flattening out here in the latter part of this last quarter of 2020 as forbearances begin to expire, which will likely increase the default rate and those that are not fortunate enough to have employment to sustain themselves, well, we're gonna see those 60, 90, and 120 day defaults are gonna be turning into foreclosures here in the summer of 2021. Now, is that going to produce a tremendous amount of bank owned properties here next summer? I really don't think we're going to see a huge move in that direction, but yes, there is going to be a slight uptick in foreclosures in my opinion. Probably late spring and summer, but you know, the moonshot trajectory that's our current our economy is currently on, it's really going to provide some fuel to the fire to keep that buyer pool heavy. So that inventory is going to be snatched up pretty quickly. Now, I really don't see a large adjustment in prices or inventory even against that backdrop until next summer. I could be wrong, but here in late November 2020, that's my projection. Okay, the third and final number that really stuck out to me in the October numbers here on Oahu are the fact that condo numbers are actually down in average price about 7%, and they're relatively flat in transaction volume. This is important because historically, the condo market accounts for around 60% of all transaction closed every year in Oahu. Now, what does this mean? I think it means two things. Number one, people in condos just aren't moving. The 
condo in, condo inventory is only down about 5.8%, which sounds like a significant number, but when you put that number against the single family inventory, which is down 39.3%, it's really not a large reduction. And secondly, for those that are moving out of those condos and are upgrading, they aren't seeing the same bidding wars that we're seeing in the single family market. So inventory is solid, transaction volume is stable, which means you've got just enough buyers to keep those numbers on an even keel. There's a lot of things that you could take from these numbers, but I feel like in this environment, you're getting some bleed over in the urgency that single space, single family uh, realtors are using that are ringing true and just say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, this property is not going to last long. If this is something that you like, you may want to put that offer down today. Now, there's a lot more to unpack in this month's Honolulu Board of Realtors monthly stats report, but I just wanted to cover a couple of high points that stuck out to me. Thanks for watching this month's Oahu Market Update, and if you like what you saw, please tap that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop your comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions on the market here on Oahu. This is Hal Wilkerson with Hawaii Property Advisors, where we have good times, give great advice, and we sell gorgeous homes. For more info on buying or selling your property, your very own property, in Hawaii, please visit hpahomes.com or drop me a text or a good old-fashioned phone call at 808-227-4842 and we'll get back to you as soon as possible with the best advice possible on real estate in Hawaii. Thanks again and see you next time.